How to increase the saturation of an image in Photoshop. There's numerous techniques. I'm just going to show you one. This image is from Adobe Stock. The key thing is go to Image, down to Mode, and then from 8-bit, put it to 32-bit. You need this for negative values. I'm just going to go through how to create those negative values. And the key thing is the Subtract Blending Mode. So Window, and go to Layers, and you've got this layer here. I'm going to turn it into a smart object, so layer and smart object. Great way of being able to change it at a later time. So as a smart object, you can change it at any point. Layer and duplicate layer. Click OK. This smart object, I'm going to add some adjustments. So go to Image, Adjustments, and down to Hue and Saturation. And just go here. With a master, set saturation, put it all the way down so you get a grayscale image. And Click OK. Then go to Layer, and again duplicate that one. So Layer and Duplicate Layer. Click OK. You've got two now. But this one, I want to put it to Add. So Linear Dodge, go for Add. So there it is, Linear Dodge, Add. And this one, I'm going to go for Subtract. So Normal, all the way down there to Subtract. Now, it looks exactly identical at the moment. But what you can then do is now, with this one, you can go over here to Image, Adjustments, and down here to Curves. And you can tweak this, and this will change the saturation. Now you can do this, go that way, this way, to change the image. Now another option, just go up here, right to the top, and just drag slightly that way. And as you do that, that will increase the saturation. And click OK. So you've got straight away a really beautiful saturated image. With this layer still selected, you can also add in some sharpening. Simply go to Filter and Blur and down to Gaussian Blur. I know that sounds a bit odd, but Blur actually works to create a sharpening effect. So go here, 2.4. You can, of course, set it to slightly less. If you push it too far, you end up with a horrible image like that. It's really, well, unless that's what you want. I'm just going to keep it around about 2.2 and click OK. And then you've got a lovely saturated image as well as a bit of sharpening applied as well. If you want to, you can also select all of them and then go to Layer and down to Smart Objects and Convert to Smart Object. So it all becomes one single smart object. And at any point, you can always go, just go here, double click it and then change all the settings again. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Thank you much.